there's that one there. And there, there's a little story behind this chag. They do like the ducks. And his fish are just bloody incredible. But he don't show his fish or anything like that. It's just his own personal thing. You know, Lily's quite pretty over there at the moment. Right then guys, welcome back to another video, James the Koi Whisperer, and uh, I wonder who this is in the background. And welcome down to the Devon Koi Pond, down here on a lovely sunny Devon day. So uh, yeah, basically it's uh, absolutely hammering down with rain, so we're both stood under some up rollies as we call them down here in the southwest, but we're two metres apart so we're keeping the social distance in. But um, yeah, basically I'll just pop down to say hello to Martin. He's got a YouTube channel, so I uh, highly recommend check it out. I'll leave a link in the bottom of this video so you guys can jump across to his channel and check it out. But I'm basically just going to give you a bit of a tour around his pond, show you his lovely koi that he's got, and he's got one hell of a filtration system on this uh, pond. So uh, stick around for the video. It's going to be a good one. So yeah, I even brought the Wi-Fi out with me as well. So where's up there perched underneath a brolly? Martin's just perching up his brolly just set out the filters for us so we can have a bit of a tour around the uh bit of a tour around the pond but i was going to run you through he's got the shower filter uh not shower sorry the river filter there which he's just recently made he's got that video on his channel as well but uh cracking pond to be fair his veg system over there as well we'll walk around and show you that one in a minute but yeah we picked the hell of a day to do this to be fair Lovely Devon weather, as we say, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd show you around pretty much, really, just to, uh, you know, a bit of entertainment, bit of something different. But we'll run through all the filter systems that he's got. But this is his veg, famous veg filter. It's a hell of a bit of kit, really. Well, good uh, invention of his. And then all of his filters are underneath here. But we'll show you all that in a sec. Right then, guys. So basically, I just thought I'd let Martin introduce himself. And uh, we're just going to run through some real quick things about the pond, really. Um, so I'm going to pass you over to Martin. And he'll just basically tell you his YouTube channel name. So, so those of you uh, that don't uh, partake in my channel, I'm Devin Coy. And I'm Martin. And this is my pond. We've got 2,400 gallons in the pond and about... 400 gallons in a veg filter in the filter system. Excellent job. I do see you got a you got a fair few lot of koi in there. How many koi have you actually got in there? There's 18 fish in the pond at the moment. So we got 18 koi in there at the moment. Some cracking fish in there. Um, and when you're talking about your filtration systems, you just want to run through quickly how your how your filtration system actually I've works. Got a vortex with a Nexus answer filter in it, which is under gravity. The water's then pumped from there. Two easy pods. Yep. Run through two easy pods in the two moving beds, and then one fixed bed, and then down into a veg filter and back to the pond, and some of it through a river as well. And some of it through the river, and it is bottom drain as well. And uh, we'll run over and just show you the the two moving beds that it's got there, and the uh, the other uh, easy pods it's got two easy pods running on it as well. So I'll give you a quick look at that in a second as well, because it's a it's a good little invention of the way Martin's designed this really. And the, the water quality is always brilliant. You don't get no trouble with ammonia, nitrate or nitrite, do you? No, no. I made a problem for quite a time. Right, so it's just basically just a bit of a view really of different different filtration systems that you can come up with. The river filter that he's got there on the pond, that is a that is a new addition to the pond. You've only just recently added the river filter there, haven't you? Yeah, just added that. You want a little bit something to plant some watercress in, but unfortunately the watercress isn't doing very well this year. <laughs> That's probably down to like you were saying earlier on with the clover leaf. I think clover leaf treatment early in the uh, year has affected the uh, cress and it's uh, just not growing. Right then, so I'm just going to step over and show you actually how the filter system works on the pond. So, bottom drain in the pond, runs through to the vortex, and then from there, through a UV light, pumped up to 
the first easy pod which flows through on a gravity system now through to the second easy pod to two moving bed systems that he's got he has had to customize the the moving bed just for the height of the water flow and then from there runs into the veg filter which is outstanding i've got to say lovely lilies in here as well I'm not sure what was that one the monk is that the monkey plant or something like yeah. that at the back Mimbulous, Mimbulous. Mimbulous or I, I can't say that one you guys know where it is and then obviously return back still on gravity return back to the pond and then the new addition to the river running all the way back around filled with alpha grog which is outstanding media in a you know in a river filter like this and uh you get brilliant quality water results like this obviously with the rain guys you can't see how clear it is but trust me it is crystal clear and uh like like martin was saying it's was it about roughly four and a half feet deep four and a half feet in the middle so four and a quarter on the edges so yeah it's uh it's i mean at the moment they're all down there at the moment but you can trust me guys it's it's crystal clear and then obviously the air pump in the pond as well and all the fish are happy as larry and he's like i was saying he's got some quality fish I'll, I'll get some better shots when they come up in a minute we'll we'll chuck a little bit more food in we have been he has been hammering in the food since i've been here but um we will try to get them up on the top so i can get some better shots for you in a sec but yeah it's an outstanding pond and uh hell of a filtration system on it and he's always out here tinkering around doing bits he's just recently changed this over so instead of flowing through off the skimmer that he's got here used to flow straight into the first these uh second easy pod now it's flowing into the first easy pod and uh i might have got a might have got a little bit wrong there but i've got most of it right i think and i might no, that's pretty good pretty good run through on that so um yeah definitely worth having a little play around with your with your filtration systems and seeing what you can come up with because it really does look nice and he's recently just done a bit of a bit of a paint job on the pond as well looks absolutely incredible and he's got his little plaques he made up he's got his thousand subscriber plaque there and his logo the devon koi pond all made himself so as you can see guys got some absolute cracking little koi in here and i say little they're not so little the average size in here is in between 40 to 50 maybe some of them even pushing 60 centimeters cracking chags and as you can see now the rain stopped all the koi coming up having something to eat just fed them a little bit of food and they're all happy as larry that Yamabuki, that's a lovely Yamabuki. One thing we didn't mention there, Martin, is uh, how old is the koi? Some of the the age on them, especially the, the big chag you got over there, the one um, with a bent tail. I've had that one for about 14 years now, so saying it was probably a year old when I got it, uh, 14, 15 years old. So there's that one there. And there, there's a little story behind this chag so um i'll let martin explain it as we got a decent shot on it as you can see the tail so uh i'll let you explain the story about the chag so good eight or nine years ago i had a lightning strike close to the pond and i lost a few fish i had about six horse in the pond um four of those um died and i lost three koi as well all in that strike and uh, that poor fish there ended up with a little bit of a kink in the tail and it's uh, got a bladder swim bladder problem it uh, kind of hangs in the water at funny angles but it's uh, battled on it's got to be eight or nine years like that now and it's uh, still been growing all that time and it's always one of the first ones up to feed so it's greedy so there you go yeah it's so always a catastrophe <laughs> so there's a nice little story behind that one but it's always more than happy right then so i just thought i'd ask as well just just out of curiosity i was just wondering what sort of feeder you've been feeding at the moment martin i'm on the um, nt labs health food on them at the moment they seem to really like that they're munching their way into the 10 kilo bucket that i bought the other day 
which isn't going to last me any time to make their eating. Oh, excellent. So how much uh, sort of food are you feeding on average per day? They're whacking their way into a good 250 towards 300 grams a day. Oh, so they're fair. surprising. So they're whacking it down. It isn't going to last that long. So do you feed them any treats at all, anything like that? Yeah, they really like their freshwater shrimp. The better half will come down here and quite happily sit on the side of the pond for an hour or more while she's uh, spoon feeding them. <laughs> Is that what about the mussels? Have you ever fed them no, any mussels? I've never tried them with mussels. We tried them with all the normal stuff like uh, some uh, watermelon and bits of stuff like that. But they don't seem to have shown any interest in that. But uh, the freshwater shrimp, uh, they turn into little piranhas when you put that near them. Oh, excellent. So uh, we'll just talk about uh, water quality as well. So. With all your filters, you don't get no trouble with no water quality whatsoever? Um, I haven't had any problems barring the little mishap with a misdiagnosis with the testing kits last year. Um, I've had a little uh, ammonia rise a week or two back, which I put down to playing around with the grog in the filters. But um, I haven't really had any water problems for quite a few years. And that's down to, your, I would say that's down to the way your filtration system works. It's down it is, to uh, filters. And a veg filter is one of the things, best things you can put in. Definitely, it's something that I'm thinking about adding to my pond. To be fair, because it's some uh, plants in there. it's uh, it's definitely it looks nice as well. It's a uh, it really looks nice. If I was to show everyone from this is down at the bottom of the garden, it really does look nice. Tease it off. Obviously, the lid dairy puts down. But um, just real quickly, you ever use any sort of like any clays or anything like that into the pond? No, I've not used any clays so far, but. Under your recommendation and seeing some of the videos on YouTube, I think I'm going to be getting myself some of it. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely think it's worth a try. I mean, I think it's outstanding, to be fair. I mean, I've, like I was saying a minute ago, it, I've, I think it helps replace a lot of the mi minerals in the water that a lot of people don't really have, to be fair. But, um, yeah, I think it's, uh, I've, I, I think it's a cracking pond, Martin. You've done a fantastic job here on the pond. And... Um, yeah, we'll we'll probably finish up here, Martin. I spec. Yeah, I'm getting pretty wet, mate. You and it's, can't be that just hot either. <laughs> and it's been an absolute pleasure. But I have got a little something for you, so I'm just going to nip out to the car and grab that now, and uh, I'll, I'll let you have it. Thank you very much, there mate. Is. I brought over one of my famous uh, koi bowls, which we get these supplied on the farm. It comes with cake food in them, but they're they're really good and useful for you know bowling up your koi. So I. I thought I'd pay Martin a visit and I thought I'd, I'd uh, donate him one. So, uh, for a lovely inspection bowl, mate. <laughs> that's my little present or gift to you. Right then, so uh, there's the lovely bowl, Martin. Hope Thanks you like that one. Thanks very much for the bowl, mate. That'll come in greatly useful. And you're not going on without taking this with you, all right? It was floating around under a bench here for quite a while. And it's the sort of thing you really need. <laughs> I want to see a good quality video of it being fitted, all right? Oh, excellent job. Thank you very much, Martin. Retrofit bottom drain, what I was after. Happy days. Thank you very much, mate. Not a problem. Uh, coming up to the end of the video here, um, I just really wanted to say massive thank you for to Martin for letting us have a little bit of videoing going on down here and uh, showing you, giving you a bit of a tour of his pond. And um, hope you guys can like the video. Hope you guys can uh, jump over to Martin's channel, check him out. And um, on that note, guys, happy, happy bonding. bonding. And I'll catch you on the next one.